Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg at 501, and today I want to go over the Twitch Drop Rewards and event that will be starting on February 8th. Now, this Twitch Drop event is going to have three different teams of 20 live streamers each, and as teams are going to have different objectives to complete that give them points, and the more points they get, the more Twitch Drops they unlock. And they're also going to have bronze founder packs to give out, so watching any of them, you could potentially also win some bronze founders packs. Now this event will be going from the 8th of February until the 28th of February and to unlock the specific drops that those streamers have at that time you have to watch any of the streams for four hours and then after that four hours you have to go into the rewards panel on Twitch and claim that reward. If you don't claim the reward you will not start to progress to another reward. Now all you have to do to start earning these rewards or earning time towards that four hours is just have any of the streamers that are participating in this open in one of your tabs on your browser and you can fully mute them do whatever and if that stream's open you will be progressing to another reward and i'm pretty sure there also is a chrome extension that will automatically claim any twitch drops so you don't even have to tab into that streamer you have up every four hours if you want to download that you'll just have to put up a stream pretty much and it will keep claiming the rewards every time you've earned a new one and the rewards for this event are actually pretty good so first off at zero points so right when this event starts you will be able to earn the battle item chest now this will contain a battle item chest three pack which is just a chest you can open that you can get different battle items you can actually use in combat it will give you a light currency chest which will give you a hundred thousand silver and then an amethyst shard chest that gives you 1500 of those shards now the 100k silver is nice for early on but it's not going to be that big of a deal once you get into the mid or late game because if you don't know silver isn't the primary currency that's not what you can use to buy items from other players or off the auction house the main currency is gold silver is more of a utility currency they use for buying stuff from certain vendors using the teleporters around the road and that type of stuff and you build it up pretty quickly so it's not going to be that big of a deal now the amethyst shards we actually don't know what these are because these aren't in any other versions of the game from what i've heard these are a eu and na specific currency that we don't know what they do yet and i think what's the most probable is, it, is that these are going to be some twitch or amazon specific currency and what i'd probably guess is that these will possibly allow you to buy some different skins or cosmetics or something like that so most likely a way for them to give these as a reward from different twitch events twitch drops or amazon prime rewards so you can get the cosmetics you want more but again not 100 percent certain on what those actually are and once one of the creators gets to 6,000 points that creator will then unlock the paper hat chest to be earnable by the viewers and this chest will give you a selection of one of five unique paper hats which are essentially just a head piece cosmetic now it doesn't specifically say if you choose the hat or if it just gives you one randomly i'm assuming it's going to let you choose because that's what most of the other chest rewards in the game work like and accumulating points and unlocking these additional reward tiers are creator specific so if one streamer gets a 6000 and unlocks the paper hat chest it doesn't mean all the other ones are going to have that and they will have a leaderboard that shows all of the different streamers and what rewards are currently on so i'd also keep an eye out on that leaderboard keep an eye out on the different streamers to see where they're at for the rewards. And then at 12,000 points, you're able to unlock a pet chest where you will select one of four unique pets. And these are pretty much little bird pets that are all different color that you can choose from. And this is definitely one of the more enticing rewards because of how pets work in the game. So at a baseline, you can have one pet out and they auto loot for you. Now every pet does the same amount of auto looting and you can only have one out. And I'm pretty sure you do get one while going through the main campaign of the game. So that's all the same. But then every pet can also give you some secondary stat increases and some actual combat bonuses and all the pets have different stat increases they could give you one could give you some additional crit some additional speciality or things of that nature so collecting more pets can give you different options for all of your different characters and then at 18,000 points you get a special mount
account that is essentially a yellow hoverboard. It does look pretty cool. And if you're someone that likes doing all the collection stuff, getting all the different mounts, getting all the different pets, all that type of stuff, you're probably someone that's going to want to earn this mount. Now, also something to note with all of these rewards is that once that specific streamer unlocks the next tier of rewards, the last one you're not able to earn anymore. So like I mentioned, I would recommend right when this event starts to start watching one of the streamers to get the first reward really quickly and make sure you're able to get that one. And then I'd recommend to keep checking back at the leaderboards where they'll show what reward every streamer is on. Say if you've already weren't, say if you've already earned the tier one, tier two, you could go find which streamer is a tier three and so on to make sure you can get all of these rewards. And you'll have to watch a streamer for four hours on that tier to unlock the reward. And this event is lasting for 20 days. So you shouldn't have much difficulty earning all of these rewards if you actually want them. It's a very long event. So if you actually want them, it shouldn't be too difficult whatsoever to go earn all of these rewards. But that's pretty much all I want to go over with the Legends Have Lost Arc Twitch event. So if you want all of these rewards, go open one of those streamers streams. And even if you don't want to watch or listen to it, just have it open one of the tabs. You can mute it and still earn the rewards. Just make sure you go and claim the rewards after you've earned them so you can start earning the next reward when it's available. So subscribe if you want to see more Lost Ark or other MMO videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this Twitch event. And thanks for watching.